welcome to Tina Tilton's The Blend. You're hanging out with yours truly, Tina Tilton. Well, you know, I, I can't say this. I have on my sexy wig today because I have a sexy guest that's in the stream with me. Um, what can I say about this guest? I've known him for 16 years and, um, <laughs> excuse me for coughing, but uh, wow, uh, I call him my Christian rock star. He's got a new project out, been doing gospel music, serving the Lord for many, many years. I want you guys to welcome, and he has a new project coming up too that he's going to share with us and tell us all about. So I want you guys to help me welcome Mr. Sam Hope Jr., my husband. I'm going to go and put that out right now. My husband, man, right there. Can't you like it? You just got to put a ring on it. Yeah. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Hey, baby. Hey, well, welcome to the show, man, baby. I, of course, I had to have you on the blend, especially since our show here reaches a million households in Memphis. Uh, oh, wow. Do I need to even name them? I, I know Christy Taylor has them. She can she can fly them off the cuff of her her her. Uh, yeah. Mouth, yeah tip, off the tip will. of her tongue. She can just off the tip of her tongue. Yeah. But uh, but but we definitely wanted to make sure that you were seen and promoted in all our one million households. So again, welcome to the blend. Well, babe, let let's just start out with your past. Uh, how long you've been? You know, we've been we're about to celebrate sixteen years yeah. of marriage. But how long have you, prior to me, been um, <laughs> been doing gospel music? Oh my goodness. Almost forty some years, almost half of my life. Yeah, yeah almost uh, either uh, either that or getting close to it. I mean, fourteen, and I'm something now. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thirteen. No, yeah, between thirteen years old, and uh, yeah. So it's just, man, God is good. I tell you. So just still hanging in there, still doing it. Still hanging in there. Wait a minute. So, so you were doing music since you were 13 years old. 13 years old. I, 13 years old. I, yeah, I started. I started playing at six. But mm-hmm. then at 13, my daddy, um, he was the organist at the church back at home. He said, "It's all yours." At 13, I couldn't reach the pedals or nothing. They had this this Kimball organ before they had gotten me this Hammond. So they had this Kimball organ. I was playing it. I couldn't reach the pedals, and my daddy said, "It's." It's all yours. You know, I was oh. like, whoa! You right. know, like four and five, they had choir, they had praise teams there, you know, five choirs or whatever. Yeah. It's like, man, good grief, Charlie Brown. But anyway. But uh, but your family is full of musicians. Your brother plays, your sister plays and sings. Uh, like, what what made you and, 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 and Papa Pope say, let's pick, I'm going to pick Sam Pope Jr., to do or play the organ? Well, I started off playing drums. Uh, that's how it all started. I started off playing drums and I, man, I love the drums. So I started off playing drums, but uh, my dad, um, I guess it was like, I started off playing drums, then my sister, she played, and then my brother switched from being a bass guitar player to, to playing drums. And then my mom tried to start playing piano. And so everybody was trying to get a crack at it. Um, and you know, unfortunately, unfortunately, my mom was like, "This ain't cut out for me." This ain't for me. It's <laughs> like let's pass the torch to Sam Jr. and see, you know, if something he was like. And I was very intrigued about it because Dad always practiced. Like I said, um, he always brought in music, different types of genre mu- music, all the time in the house, and had us to compare, you know, this genre to that, just mm-hmm. that genre. And then I just like, I just love the way how he he approaches things musically. He had that old school feel. But he, he still out of the way he approaches it, he put his own style to it. And yeah. so um, I was like, oh, this is nice. This is really nice. So, you know, and I, I just took it from there. Plus, you know, I, you know, I got his, I got his name. So he won't be like, follow me. <laughs> follow me, yeah. Do as I do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but because I'm super familiar with the family, uh, uh, um, Mom Pope, Mama Pope, she is, she may not be like really musical, but she is a nurturer and a teacher. Right, 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 right. right. Yes, yes, she is. Or has been. Oh, mm-hmm. um, yeah, has been. Um, daycare, we had a thing of our Christian Academy. She was the director over there to dealing with kids, children from all ages. I mean, you know, everybody back at home, 
they know they know Miss Patsy Pope. Oh yeah, she taught my daughter when she was like, <laughs> yes, yeah, so she was very she was very nurturing that. And so um, then when it came down to us playing music, she was very nurturing and encouraging us to, hey, do this, do this for the Lord. You know, make sure you please Him, yeah. practice, and um, it was very encouraging for every step that we took musically. You know, she was just was always there. She was like, I, it still is. You know, all of our in the family number one fan. You know, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, it, like everyone in the family's background is church and you have managed to still stay very connected with the church uh, community. Are your other siblings as connected as you are musically? Yes. Um, it's my brother, he does um, jazz. He plays jazz. Um, um, he, we really like all genres. The foundation is is gospel music is is Jesus Christ. You know, but I said that way. Um, but my brother, he has a he has a jazz band called Marcus Pope and Friends. It goes out and play, you know, weddings and all that kind of stuff. Um, my sister does a play as well. Um, she she kind of looks like you know I'm, I'm let y'all I'm let y'all have it, but she does love music, and so um, pretty much yeah, the foundation of it. Uh, we still you know my brother me and my brother still play together. Yeah. Um, doing um, gospel um, um, music or whatever. But yeah, he's, he kind of like stepped out there and, and did other things. And, and I just t- kept true to it. Don't mean that I can't play it. It's just, I just, that's, I know, I know my lane. Yeah. Is, yeah. And, and that's what I was about to say. Now, the, the 16 years that we've been, uh, well, almost, I, you may as well say 16, probably yeah. because by the time this show airs, it will be 16, be 16 years. years. Yeah. Oh, happy anniversary, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Back to and many more to come many more but uh out of the 16 years that that we've been in a relationship and married then you know there have been people to come our way to say hey sam would you be interested in in playing in you know this genre or playing that you know doing piano or organ for this particular style of music and your answer has always been no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Look, again, it's not a, it's not a uh, say that I, I can't. Mm-hmm. You know, I just choose, I just choose not to. You know, I, I know how this car runs. You know, I know my lane, and I stay, I stay in my lane, um, and and that's that's the thing. I just, I just stay in my lane, and that's what I'm called to do for. I just stay, stay in my lane. Again, it's not that I don't have the ability, or to say, you know, do it. Yeah. to do it. I just choose, I just choose not to. Yeah, make it good you good. have a band out of the again many many seasons that 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 I've been a part of your life. I've seen band members come. I've seen some go. I've even seen some stay. Like you have at least one that has stuck around for darn near the duration. Um, you know there have been band members to to pass. Tell me about that journey of the his sound part of Sam and his sound. Wow, you, you, I think you covered that with your introduction. We have had, uh, my goodness, people to come, people to go, um, you know, how, how it all started um, at, at a church and we just worship. And then from there, it stemmed from going outside of the church to try to reach those who was unchurched. And, you know, um, different members came in and, you know, and they stayed and some of them was like, you know, they had other things they wanted to pursue. Um, and so right now where his sound is, we're at a place of just, you know, we, we've been um, writing and producing and getting with other, we decided to, um, we decided to, to collaborate with other people outside of us, um, which I think it is an amazing thing, you know, is to, um, I normally would, would do the writing and, and all this kind of stuff, but to connect with different people who have us, who have something to give, and a, a special things that they're that we're looking for, you know, they're able to do that. So we decided to, you know, still keep the core group, but go outside and bring, you know, hey, y'all come over to our house and eat. I'm like, yeah, this is what we got. Oh, y'all got this? Yeah, yes, let's bring this or bring that, you know, so to speak. So yeah. um, it sound is still, it's still, it's still active and still moving. Yeah, yeah, and, are, and you know what? And big shout outs to Kirk Clayton as well, because I know he even produced one of, one of yeah, your songs. I believe Kirk, yeah, so got a producer to, 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 like I said, to step out of that, you know, to do that. Um, 
and which is a which is a great thing. It's good you can't be a you know you can't what to say a man. You, oh, you can't, I can't be an island by myself. Then the group was not that we just didn't want to be a band. To I mean we could do in house stuff, um, but we decided to you know through prayer and, and say what direction that we need to do. How do we need to to if you want to say step up to the next level or what how we do to reach a broader audience is to you know to go outside. So it was. Oh my goodness! It was yeah. it's, it's been great. So we don't know what God got in store next. You know, don't know at all. Yeah. You know what? My phone down here is going crazy, but really, all they have to do is make a comment on <laughs> Facebook Live, and, and I'll be able to see and and maybe even chat with you. So again, if you're you're watching, I'm live right now, speaking with Sam, the lead singer of Sam and His Sound, the band. Uh, Christian rock star, as I like to call them. However, I can say this, Sam, you all have a, you have a new sound, wouldn't you say? Tell yeah. us about it. It's, 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 um, it's, it, it's, it's changed. Um, the message is still, the message is still Jesus Christ. That's going to be always be the foundation. Um, and so we decided to change, you know, change a little bit. Um, sonically and, and like I said different, dealing with different producers of what we uh, what we you know trying to accomplish I think the key of this album is is hearing you know and, and I guess his sound is like his sound you know it's a play with words I was just hearing so I'm getting to the place of you know what is God saying what what do you hear and play that what you hear and if it's in there for you to play it then you play it but if you're hearing something and it's somebody else supposed to play it you know what you're hearing is you give that person the opportunity and so you know we decided to um to go that direction this is I, what sound is this what, what are we looking for i want to be able and i know god wanted me to be able to reach an uh, audience like my daughter um to see what music is going to sound like five or six years from now and um and to keep it simple you know to keep it simple yet try to you know just just change a little bit just gradually change not to the extreme where you know the production becomes more than the message but just just kind of go a different different way you know and so um and and who did you collab with on this one tim, tim i collab with tim, timothy davis a good friend mm -hmm. of mine yeah. uh i got a, another songwriter named darren williams who wrote this song who uh, me and co wrote the song and um i got collaborate with tim what the song just came out of a conversation me and darren was talking and we was talking about how God is everything to us, and boom, it just he's like out of that. He you guys just, said pin the hit. Pin the hit. I mean, just over yeah. the phone, just pinned it, and he pinned it, and I wrote something, wrote this part, and then to put everything together, I said, you know, we need another voice to it. Let me just feature somebody, and um, and then Timothy Day was just a good friend of mine, just like yeah, I would love. Oh to yeah, he is. Order. And uh, we started at uh, well, really, we started this whole project called You. But uh, everything to me is a single, and we recorded at uh, uh, the, at the Grove here in Memphis to, to start the process of it. Hey, John, I feel like you watch it, and um, and Hal, what's up, buddy? Walter, Courtney, so we had like, <laughs> okay, that's, everybody that uh, that built the foundation. Then out of that, we prayed and was like, Who, what's next? Who's going to do this next? Who's going to play this next? Who's going to sing this next? And uh, just went in prayer, man, just. And got it done. Timothy was the guy. So after that, we gave it to him, and thank him in uh, Ridgeway, Ridgewood Studios in Columbia, Columbia, Mississippi. Mississippi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we went there and we did everything, and, and then everything to me, you know, was birthed out of that. Came out of that. So it's mm -hmm. amazing. And yeah. you know what? Th that obviously is going. Not that any of the past music has been bad or 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 less than good, if you will. But this particular song. I can actually say that even our daughter has asked you, when were you going to be on Music Choice <laughs> on the Gospel yeah, Channel? She sure did. And she asked it's... me, when were you going to be on K-Love? Yeah. And I said, baby, I think daddy's working on it. Yeah, yeah. Do you just... think that that song fits those formats? Yeah, I just, again, it wasn't trying to, you know, go for the home run or try to reach a certain genre. We just put it out there and just and just you know just seeing what happens um tim davis was just some you know as far as mixing it and, and getting the sound that we're looking for you know and we just decided what was in our hearts to put it out there and just just you know just did it if it reached there then fine um you know and if it doesn't there's still some other avenues 
the God will get the you know get the glory and that door will open. And so um I'm I'm really excited about it. I'm really am yeah, excited about it. You know, the rest is there anything different then about this project from your previous projects? Is there anything think, different? Go ahead. I'm sorry, baby. Is is there anything different from this project or or, or, or about this project than there have been any other of your past projects? I think if anything was different was uh, was featuring somebody. Someone. Normally, you know, the band do everything we write and we sing and we just worship. This time, you know, it's to it's to reach out and to see who who fits fits. You know, and I'm learning that in you know songwriting or writing songs, you know, you may not be able to sing them all. So you have to just find out which one fits, and, you, and then you know you, you you go about it that way. You go like, all right, now who needs to sing this one? And you might like the song, but the testimony might be for somebody else to sing it. You know, wow. just like you know what happened with the. Uh, uh, what is it? I can only imagine the movie. I can only imagine. Oh yeah, when we saw it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it, uh, it was a Natalie Grant. She yep. he gave the song to Natalie, but he wrote it. But it, yeah. she was about to sing it. She was like, "This not for me. This it's for you." For me. And so yeah. that's the collaborative effort that you know that I think all artists should do is is hey, you can't you can't eat everything on your plate. Share it. Yeah. You know, that's good. They write every song and sing it, then send it. You know, is is uh, everything to me? Your new single is that on us? Uh, in, in any of the platforms right now? Oh yes, you Spotify, you can Apple Music, Amazon, and iHeart, Pandora. Um, I, 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 um, I got some response for um, one lady was like, this is a repeat that I listen to every day because oh, I want God to be everything to me. Um, so people are making, you know, are, are testifying about it. And I think that's the that's the goal. I'm not into the, uh, and be honest, I'm not into the streaming part of trying to get downloads. If it happens, it just happens. But if one person can 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 say, "Hey, I was going through something, and I, you know, and I, and everything to me came on," and I was just like, "Man, I took a retrospect of my love to God that He is everything to me." Hey, mission accomplished. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's the goal. Aww, humble, yeah. ain't you? <laughs> no, <laughs> it, ain't, it ain't that. You know. <laughs> <laughs> it's not you know about like it's false humility. Oh yes, you know exactly. <laughs> it's not it's not even that. It's just like you know. I think the motive of it. I think the motive of gospel music should be that. Other things should be added second to it. Second. I think you know that that's it. You know, see what he wants. Give it. Give him what he wants, and watch what he does. You know, so everything to me that, that had everything to do with our love for God. You know. Is it on YouTube? Yeah. Yes, it's on YouTube. You can YouTube it, Sam and His Sound. You can YouTube it and um, and take a listen to it as well. Um, it's, it's, it's any any tour dates planned that I don't know about? Well, but, uh, <laughs> not, at, not at the moment. We were planning on, excuse me, planning on doing a, um, uh, uh, an event in May. We're looking to do it in the event in May. I know more details is to come. Ain't that right, baby? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. And then uh, sometime next year, we're thinking about doing um, a live recording um, of some of the of the songs that we have. We got more songs. This mm -hmm. is Christian single, and, and plan on doing a live recording sometime next year. Yeah. And so, um, I think well, that's we can previously. I mean, or, or just kind of peck it the May because uh, it it it's kind of sort of a uh, a continuation okay. of. Yeah. 2020, 2020, I, I was supposed, 2020, 2021? Yeah, 2020. When you all did a concert right. to benefit, yeah, Youth Villages, uh, Youth Foster Villages. Care yeah. Agency. Mm -hmm. So again, like May is National Foster Care Month, and uh, there are plans of having Sam and his sound and many other guests mm -hmm. to um, uh, encourage the foster parents and even encourage those who may be considering to become foster parents because it is it, it there is a need for it and 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 um, that's uh, one of those uh, God given uh, abilities that He's given some of us, including right. us. We're right. we're foster parents, aren't we, babe? Yes. Yeah, we've been we fostering are. for thirteen years. Thirteen so, years. Yeah, well, the we... first three years we were by ourselves, then we started getting kids. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I yes, think overall we have like 30 something is what I was told before. Good grief. Yeah, we have 30, maybe 35 kids that have 
been in and out of our, in and out of our homes. But those are 30 to 35 souls that right. haven't been impacted, uh, hopefully positively, you know. Um, but but there's a need, and we we will be giving you more information in May about that. All right, babe. Any 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 final words you would like to share with the viewers before we no, wrap up? I, I go to Spotify. Is at Spotify. Go to Spotify, yeah. iTunes, Apple Music. Everything to me featuring Timothy Davis. Uh, uh, everything to me, Sam and his sound featuring Timothy Davis, along with. Um, with uh, you gonna hear this young lady's voice named Brooke? Just amazing. I don't know her last name. Oh my goodness! Don't don't give me Brooke. Um, remember by myself and Darren Williams. It's just listen. You got to, you have to just just listen to it. A simple song about you and him and what he is to you. I think that is so that is so important. I would just to add along to that. Um, shout out to the, to the guys with his sound um, and to uh, uh, those writers. And everything to all the musicians who's trying to do this and still doing it and and the age that they don't think they ain't not able to accomplish it i don't have, i can say this i'm 53 years old and i'm still at it you know still at it bit by bit piece by piece um wait a and, minute you're 52. Just, i'm 52 years old <laughs> I'm at it. Bit you threw me bit. off. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, that's what you can tell because you forget your age. You know, but anyway, <laughs> restore. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so, anyway, 52, 53 yes. next year. I'm sorry. Wait, wait, I should, I'm 25. And I went, but anyway, <laughs> um, what's to encourage those to keep, hey, just keep going. Just keep yeah. going and keep doing it. Yeah. iTunes, iHeart, Pandora, everything to me, featuring Timothy Davis, Sam and his sound. Um, check it out. And I know it'll be a blessing to you. Yes, it would. And as a matter of fact, before we leave, I do want to say you guys put me kind of in the mind of Maverick City uh, with their gyro song. Everything to me oh, is oh, in, yeah, yeah. kind of sort of in that realm of worship, uh, if you will. So if you like Maverick City and you like that gyro song, that song is very, it's, it's similar. Again, it has that same worship experience type of uh, type of feel. So go out and download everything to me sam and his sound do it today do it today do it today do it today do it, do it today. today yeah yeah well uh shucks thank you so much um husband sam william po oh, wait husband uh, sam william pope jr husband wife so what are you cooking today <laughs> what's for dinner what's for dinner uh, i'm gonna say cheese straws no Cheese straws. Oh, yeah, oh cheese no, straws. cheese straws. We got, some, we got, we got oh, some wait, surprise drawers. me then. <laughs> yeah, we surprise you. We got some. We got some. Drawers. We got some. Drawers. Yay! All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for joining me. Thank you, Sam Pope Jr., for being a guest on Cena Tilt in the Blend. And until next time, you be blessed and go upload that song. Everything to me, Sam and his Sam. Bye bye. I love to call the name of Jesus. I love to call the name of Jesus. You are everything to me. You are everything to me. Jesus, I love to call the name of Jesus.